Welcome to Easy Learning, Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth, and today we are going to be learning from two mathematics. Our topic for today is quadratic expressions and equations. Our subtopic is forming our quadratic equations from positive and negative roots. So you notice from the last previous lessons, we looked at forming quadratic equations from positive roots separately and negative roots separately. So today we are going to do a mix up both positive and negative roots and see how that happens. And this also involves fractions and whole numbers. So let's see how that happens. So we have negative three and negative, uh, negative three and negative two and three. So X is equals to minus two and X is equals to three. So this is going to be x plus 2 is equals to 0 and x minus 3 is equals to 0. So we multiply them together, x plus 2 and x minus 3 will get 0. So you use this expression to open or expand this expression. So it's x into bracket x minus 3 then plus 2 into bracket x minus 3 is equals to zero. So this becomes x squared minus three x plus two x minus six is equals to zero. So minus six plus two minus three plus two becomes minus one. So our answer becomes x squared minus x plus minus six sorry is equals to zero. That is your answer. Let's do uh, a few more practice questions that you can see. So this is going to be x is equals to 4 and x is equals to minus 3. So this means is x minus 4 is equals to 0 and x minus plus 3 is equals to 0. So this gives us x minus 4 to bracket x plus 3 is equals to 0. So we open or expand this expression using this value. So x into bracket x plus 3, then minus 4 into bracket x plus 3 is equals to 0. So that gives us x squared plus 3x minus 4x plus minus, be careful, 12 is equals to 0. So this becomes x squared plus 3 minus 4 becomes minus x minus 12 is equals to 0. This is the same as like 3 minus 4. So 3 is a smaller value, 4 is a bigger value. So 3 minus 4 gives us a negative 1. And that is our equation. With the fraction, we've mixed both negative and positive. Let's see how that works. So x is equals to a half and x is equals to negative a half, a third. So this is the same as 2x is equals to 1. This is 3x is equals to minus 1. So this is 2x minus 1 is equals to 0, and 3x plus 1 is equals to 0. So this is the same as 2x minus 1, and 3x plus 1, is equals to zero. So we are going to open the bracket using this uh, or expand using this expression. So 2x into bracket 3x plus 1 and minus 1 into bracket 3x plus 1 is equals to zero. So 2x times 3x gives us 6x squared. Then 2x times 1 gives us 2x. Then minus 1 times 3 will give us minus 3x and minus 1 times plus 1 gives us minus 1. Remember we said minus times positive is minus and minus times minus is positive is equals to 0. So this is 6x squared plus 2x minus 3x. Our values of 2 are smaller than the values of 3. So our answer will be minus x minus 1 is equals to 0, and that is your answer. Let's do more questions. 
So we have x is equals to 1 over 4, and x is equals to minus 5. So this is going to be 4x is equals to 1, and x plus 5 is equals to 0. So this is 4x minus 1 is equals to 0. So we put these two values, two factors together. So it is 4x minus 1 and x plus 5 is equals to 0. So let's expand this expression using this. So 4x into bracket x plus 5, then negative 1 x plus 5 is equals to 0. So 4x times x gives us 4x squared. 4x times 5 gives us 20x. Negative 1 times x gives us negative x. And negative 1 times 5 gives us negative 5 is equals to 0. So this is the same as 4x squared. 20 minus x or 20 minus 1 gives us 19x minus 5 is equals to 0. And then we have x is equals to minus 3 and x is equals to a third. So this is x plus 3 is equals to 0 and 3x is equals to 1. So x plus 3 and then this is 3x minus 1 is equals to 0. So this is 3x minus 1 is equals to 0. So we expand using this, so it becomes x into bracket 3x minus 1, and plus 3 into bracket 3x minus 1 is equals to 0. So x times 3x becomes 3x squared, and x times negative 1 becomes negative x, plus 3 times 3x becomes 9x, 3 times 1 becomes minus 9 is equals to 0. So this becomes 3x squared minus x plus 9 becomes positive 8x minus 3 is equals to 0 and you get your value. And finally, the last uh, root. So this is x is equals to 1 and x is equals to minus 3. So this is x minus 1 is equals to 0, x plus 3 is equals to 0. So this is x minus 1 and x plus 3 is equals to 0. So we are going to expand using this. So x into bracket x plus 3, then minus 1 into bracket x plus 3 is equals to 0. So x times x becomes x squared. x times 3 becomes 3x. Negative 1 times x becomes negative x. Negative 1 times 3 becomes negative 3 is equals to 0. So this is x squared. 3x minus x becomes 2x minus 3 is equals to 0. And finally, just like before, x is equals to 0 and x is equals to negative 1. So this is x plus 3 is equals to 0. So our answer is x plus 3 is equals to 0 since the other value is already zero. So that brings us to the end of the mix. When you have mixed roots, positive and negatives, so now you can be able to form quadratic equations easily. So you can check out more uh, derivation questions in the app and use them to do a bit of practice and see if you understand the concept. And also there are notes on the same as well in the app. So see you in the next uh, lesson. Thank you.